Hello everyone, I'm here with Sam Squid Poker Grafton. He's having an amazing year. He's cashed for more than two and a half million dollars in live tournament earnings. How's it going, Sam? Yeah, good, thank you very much. Now, before we start this interview, I have to touch on your attire, which you're wearing today. And I know the last interview you did for us in Poker News with uh, Sarah in Barcelona, you were talking about whether players should, poker players should dress in a certain way. And I'm guessing from what you're wearing, that's a resounding no, right? Yeah, obviously, I think people should be uh, free to express themselves in, in whatever way they choose. Obviously, no one's going to dress as well as me, but, you know, they, they can, try. They can I try. I mean, there's not many people that can pull it off, but I definitely think you're one person that can pull, pull it off. <laughs> I'm trying my best anyway. <laughs> okay, so we're going to get straight into a quick game of calling the clock. We're going to put two minutes on the clock, and you've got to answer as many of these questions as you can in two minutes. Sure. Okay, you ready? What do, what do I win? What do I win if I get... if, if you win... We'll, we'll see what, what is that a price? I mean, I haven't thought that far ahead, oh, okay. so I don't know. But you can, uh, if, you if, me, if you can buy me a nice Czech beer later, yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that. That sounds good. All right, okay. So, first question Are we ready? Go. What is your biggest pet peeve? People who are rude to dealers. Like that. Which poker player do you admire the most and why? Uh, that's, a real, that's a real good question. There's a lot of players that I really admire uh, Chris Brammer, uh, Tim Adams. Rainer Kempe, they all come to mind. Why? Uh, work ethic, consistency yeah. over the years, conduct, ethics. Love it, okay. If you weren't a poker player, what would you be? Um, I'd probably work, I was like a teaching assistant before, I'd probably be like a teacher. I used to work with adults with learning disabilities, maybe, maybe something like that, maybe like, yeah, so, something like that, or something political campaigning or something like that, maybe. I think you'd make a good teacher. I think you'd make a good teacher. Right. If your house was on fire, what two things would you save and why? I think I've got... Oh, I'd only save this. This is my granddad's watch. Okay. But uh, you're already uh, wearing that. So yeah, so well, that's, that. yeah, so that's... Uh, other than that, I don't think I've got any possessions that I'm really... Uh, maybe grab a few photos, but they're digitalised mainly now, right? <laughs> yeah. So... Yeah, I'm not really maybe a, a laptop. Yeah, I'm not a possessions guy. I'm, I'm, I can, I can, I can replace everything. I think. I like that. Okay, if you could have one superpower, what would it be? See my opponent's whole cards, isn't it? I mean, you'd be a crusher I'd at that be, point, uh, right? Mike Possible, I'd be loving it. <laughs> yeah, be crushing. I, I, I might not. Yeah, I'll win as many tournaments as uh, Stevie Chidwick if I could see my opponent's cards. <laughs> Good. Okay, what is your favourite film? Land of Freedom. I've never seen it. Is it good? Yeah, Ken Loach. Really good. I'll have to watch Treat it. yourself. I will. I will. Okay. Of all the live poker stops, which one is your favourite? This is like really close up there. I'm very affectionate about Prague. I really like Czech people. I like, like the vibe here at Christmas. It's still probably is Aussie Millions. Aussie Millions, yeah? Yeah, like, it's basically, unfortunately for Prague, they just can't complete, compete with that weather, right? It's like... I know, and It's like, they've got so much good stuff, but it's like, when you just think of Melbourne at that time of year, the sun shining, it's, you know... Do you ever go and watch the tennis there? I haven't been to watch the tennis, actually, but uh, it's something I need to do. Definitely. All right, last question, because I know the two minutes is up. What is the biggest thing you are afraid of? The biggest thing I'm afraid of? Um, hair loss. I mean, you're doing all right so far. Oh, it's going, it's going. It's going. At what kind of rate is it going? <laughs> no, I, I don't know what, what the biggest thing I'm afraid of. Uh, maybe, uh, I don't know, having Hecklin on my left. Or all right, Henrik Hecklin, if you're hearing this, go and sit on his left in a cash game. He'll be shitting himself. <laughs> I'm Oliver Biles for PokerNews.com.